On the 22nd of June 1941, Germany invaded the Soviet Union. Contrary to the popular belief, the German army was equipped with winter gear. But it was winter gear designed for Western European winters. It was perfect in Germany or France, served well in Denmark or Norway, it was even a bit too much in Italy or Greece. The Russian winter is, however, totally different. In Germany, you can expect temperatures to be a few degrees below freezing. In Russia, it can be minus 30 degrees or even colder for weeks or months. The winter gear of the German army was simply not fit for that cold. The German troops had regular woolen gloves. The Soviets had thick mittens with a separate finger for pulling the trigger. When they were not shooting, they could pull the index and thumb in the main part of the mitten and warm up even better. The Germans had leather boots and woolen zucks. The Soviets had thick felted boots with reinforced soles. The Germans had a wool cap under the steel helmet. The Soviets had very thick padded hats with ear flaps, so thick that they made wearing a helmet not even necessary. The Germans had thick great coats. The great coat alone weighed close to 3 kilograms. The whole winter gear set we can assume to be about 6 kilograms. For a German infantry division at full strength, that is over a hundred tons of load. Carrying them with the division takes about a sixth of the division's internal transport capacity for gear that will not be used for months. A shortage of winter gear was primarily because it made no sense to equip troops with winter gear in June and, when it became a necessity, the demands for fuel, ammo, food, medicine and spare parts had already overloaded the German logistics network reliant on the insufficient Soviet infrastructure. So, the Soviet's winter gear was made for the Russian winters. The German winter gear was not. Even when the German soldiers had their winter gear on, they still went cold. It is also true that the German high command didn't anticipate a long campaign lasting into the winter and therefore adequate preparations such as the distribution of warm clothing was not made. The German Army High Command was convinced that a quick victory within a few months can be achieved. However, the campaign dragged on as the Soviets forced the German army into a prolonged war of attrition well into the winter month. The inadequate equipped German forces, who were outfitted only with summer uniforms and great coats, suffered considerable casualties due to the exposure to the elements during the harsh winter of 1941 and 42. This situation led the German army to the conclusion that they needed a more effective cold weather combat uniform. The Winter Jacket 42 was a child of the war and ultimately intended to replace the great coat in frontline combat units from the middle of November until approximately from the middle of April. The initial design was made in early 1942. Testing began immediately and by the autumn of that year the initial version, the Winter Jacket 42, saw limited distribution to frontline troops fighting in the East. It consisted of a winter jacket and winter trousers made of plain colored wool exterior shell and white cotton canvas interior, with the intention that it could be reversed for snow camouflage. 
both interior and exterior was treated with a chemical to increase water resistance. Shortly into its production run, the uniform was modified to include a cotton canvas exterior and interior with a wool blanket lining. These were still being produced with a white interior and a monotone exterior ranging from a mouse grey to various shades of green similar to the earlier production models. This was the most common version of the winter jacket seen during the winter of 1942 and 43 among both the Army and Waffen-SS combat units. The development of the winter gear continued the next year. The M43 winter coat was a reversible jacket. It was made out of reliable, warm and waterproof materials, always featuring a hood, which could be tightened using two laces, if necessary. It relied exclusively on knob buttoning and featured only two frontal lower pockets. It could be reversed to be worn in different appearance and, for such matter, it featured another variant of appearance on the other side. In this case, the all-white pattern which was intended to be worn is winter weather. It was being produced from 1943 and continued until the end of the war. However, although receiving the camouflage jacket, the German army still did not feature any kind of camouflage trousers, so many field improvisations were made by the German soldiers.